Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Efren Olive, and it's time for another edition of Rough Drafts. So today we are heading back to Corset Land, playing some 10th edition, which I don't think I've ever drafted before, but I'm pretty sure it's like 8th and 9th edition, with slightly less insane color hate cards, and a bit more value. The big winner is Crucible of Worlds, is like 23 ticks at the moment. And then there's all the allied color pain lands, which are semi-valuable. Like three, four, five ticks, something like that. So we'll see. I think this uh, is a format about just drafting an efficient curve, removal, pretty basic. That's my impression of the format, at least. I guess there's also Hercules Recall is like 13 ticks, and Wrath of God is 4.42, although it is coming in Eternal Masters, so probably heading down, at least on Magic Online. All right, let's see what we get for pack one. Crucible? Crucible would be nice, just for the profits. Or Mana Barbs. <laughs> Whenever a player taps land for mana, Mana Barbs deals one damage to that player. I guess it could be all right in a really aggressive deck. Jeez. So, like, many of the best cards in this pack are red. Prodigal Pyromancer, Pingers, super good in limited. Shock is fine. Orcish Artillery can be all right. And then there's Assassinate. So I guess the question is, do we take a red card, even though there's a million good red cards in the pack, or do we just take the Assassinate, because it is literally the only black card, and hope we can just cut people out of black and then get rewarded in pack two or pack uh yeah in pack two i think we're gonna try that plan let's take the assassinate that's literally the only black card let everyone else fight over red and we can just try to avoid red uh now there is righteousness target blocking creature gets plus seven plus seven until end of turn pretty much a white removal spell that can get blown out by opposing removal spells. Um, Cloud Elemental is good. If we're going to keep cutting black, Essence Strain is pretty solid. Three damage to a creature or player, gain three life. Root Walla is a solid green card. I think we're just taking another black card. This is a format where I think you want to be primarily one color, splashing a second color. You, I don't think you typically want to be three colors in this format well now we're taking a second color what are we taking though um because there is literally not a playable black card in this pack there is plague beetle so wild griffin is a fine white card two two flyer for three blood fire classes is red and also really expensive sift is also really good draw three discard a card i'm leaning towards taking sift over the wild griffin and i think i will Having some card advantage is nice, and we get to follow that up by a Phyrexian Rager. So, 2-2-4-3, two, two, but it also draws a card when it enters the battlefield and makes us lose a life. Diabolic Tutor, you really need a bomb to get with it. Loxodon Mystic is also very good. Let's take Rager. Stay, stay black. Want to cut the black and get rewarded in pack two. That's the path that we are on. Hopefully it works. We haven't passed much reasonable black. We've been really focusing on not passing good black. And if no one's in a black deck, then they shouldn't be taking black cards in pack two. We got some solid removal, a little bit of card advantage, and sh uh, sift. Ooh, Underworld Dreams? Whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to him or her. I don't think we really want that, but we will take Highway Robber. 2-2 two, two for four, but it drains for two when it enters the battlefield. Not bad. The rest of this pack is all green cards, but they're not very good except for Grizzly Bear, uh, Vachino Runner, 3-2 Menace for 4. Yeah, I think Highway Robber is easily the right pick here. Ooh, alright. Well, now we're kind of being rewarded for being in blue. Agonizing Memories, look at target player's hand and choose two cards, put them on top of that player's library in any order. Not super good. Uh, Skate Zombies, a little below the curve, but Snapping Drake, very solid. Ooh, another Phyrexian Rager. Sweet. Well, that's an easy pick. I like how our deck's shaping up. We're going to have a full hand. Sack a creature, draw a card. Phyrexian Vault. 
We might just take Lumen Grid Warden. We don't have any two drops, and while Warden is not a great one, it is defensive and helps hold down the ground until we can finish the game and draw into our removal. Now we get... Hmm, not much. Reminiscence, target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. We can go on the mill strategy, just try to play through our entire deck. Take Horseshoe Crab, I guess, as a 1-3, and it untaps. I think that's better than the other options. Now we get <laughs> Vicino Sand Scout, the always has dash creature. Cloud Spri uh, Sprite, eh. Luminescence, prevent all damage that, a black, uh, that black sources or red sources would deal this turn. Let's just hate that. So there still is some color hosing, it's just not great. We can take this peak, it cycles. Not good, but it cycles. Chan <laughs> fear, gives enchant creature fear. Classic. Tree Trap, Bracers, Swamp, Telepathy. Chan creature gets plus one, plus one, and can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. Uh, let's take Telepathy. Would be kind of funny to play Telepathy. Uh, take Stun. I don't think fear is where we want to be. And Stun draws a card. Could make an opponent want to play it. When you get down to the end of these packs and there's nothing, it's pretty easy, or if you're lacking cards in your deck, something like Stun is a pretty easy card to include, just because it cycles, and when something cycles, it can never be truly bad. Because at least, in the worst case, it's always going to replace itself with another card. We're going to need more 2-drops. Our deck is looking fine so far, though. Lots of uh, card drawing. Man. Alright, we'll take the island. If someone wants to play Goblin Elite Infantry, which is far from elite, they can. Ooh. Alright, we get a Black Rare in Graveborn Muse. Not bad. 3-3 three, three for 4, and it draws us cards. Drawing cards is good. Otherwise, there's Council, whatever. I think we're just going to take Graveborn Muse. Hard to pass up a rare like that. Now we get a Terror, premium removal spell. Definitely happy for that. Another Prodigal Pyromancer, Composite Golem, sack it, add a mana of each color to your mana pool. Some green cards, another Peak, a Twitch, a Council, which is basically Divination. Threaten, worth being aware of, but Terror, easy pick here. So we'll see. I mean, we open the Black Rare, which we would have opened anyway. That's not a product of us cutting black. We did get past a terror. Hopefully we get past many terrors. Uh, so no terror, but we get Mortal Kombat against the Oddsile. If there are 20 or more creatures in your graveyard, you win the game. Really hard to pull off in Limited. It's hard to have 20 creatures in a deck in Limited. Uh, probably just taking Nantucko Husk. Not insane. We don't really have any big combos with it, but... It's fine value, it's hard for an opponent to block, can finish off a game. Severed Legion has Fear, Afflict is okay, it does kill some stuff, and I probably would play it. Dehydration uh, keeps a creature from untapping, but I think we just take Husk here. Follow that up with another Sift. I would play a Ravenous Rats too. Ravenous Rats is sort of a combo with Husk, since you can just make an opponent discard, and then sack it to Husk later. So I wouldn't mind getting that on the way back, but we're not going to pass up a Sift. Sift is very strong. Uh, so now we have what? Rare is Root Maze. Artifacts and lands enter the battlefield tapped. One man enchantment. Demon's Horn could be a sideboard card. Cancel is okay. I might just take Dusk Imp so we have a flyer. It's annoying that it only has one power. Maybe Severed Legion is just better. It doesn't block flyers, but... It is even more unblockable. This just dies to the pingers we've seen going around. Let's take Severed Legion. Yeah, it looks like we get a Dust Camp anyway. Contaminated Bond. Whenever Enchanted Creature attacks or blocks, its controller loses 3 life. A sea Monster. Big and defensive, but not necessarily going to win. No rest for the Wicked. Sack it. Return to your hand all creatures uh, in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Upwelling is interesting. Mana doesn't empty it steps and as steps and phases end. So you can keep your mana your entire turn. Uh, let's take Dusk Imp. It's fine. 
Uh, Commando, kind of only good in island walking matchups. Let's take the Afflict. Afflict isn't bad. Another one of those cards that cycles. And there are one toughness creatures, like those pingers, and our Dusk Imp, <laughs> that it kills. So there, it does kill things. Plus you can use it like a combo trick, or combat trick, where you just shrink something after blocks to kill it. Make a 2-2 two -two trade up with a 3-3 three -three or something. So I like where our deck is at. The only problem is we don't really have a good finisher. So that's something we want to focus on. We got some removal. We got some card advantage. We just really would like something big and flying to finish the game. Uh, probably not Steel Golem. Thrall Surgeon is interesting. 1-1 one, one for 2... You sack it, look at target player's hand, choose a card from it, they discard that card, but you can only do it as a sorcery. I think we're just going to take another Afflict, though. Again, it cycles, can kill things. Not premium removal like Terror, but I think it's playable. When you kill a Prodigal Pyromancer and draw a card, that's a pretty big swing. Oh, yeah. more card drawing? <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to be able to draw many cards. We will never be empty-handed. How we win the game, that part is still up for debate. <laughs> Even more card drawing, Council. Alright. We need a Laboratory Maniac for the win. We have so much card drawing, we might not be able to play it all. That's how crazy this is getting. Also, defensive two drops would be nice to slow things down. That's what we need now. We'll take more strong removal. Any terrors or anything that we open. Jeez, another afflict? Can we really play three afflicts? That's asking for a lot. Dehydration kills anything. I guess we could take that. I don't think we can take the third afflict. We'll take dehydration... Uh, crafty Path Mage, I guess, sort of combos with our Nantucko Husk. <laughs> Target player gains 8 life, 4 5 mana at sorcery speed. Yikes. So expensive. Alright, so defensive 2 drops and a finisher, plus any more good removal. Those are the things we're looking for. Instead, <laughs> we get more card draw. Merfolk Looter. I mean, it is a 2-drop, not really a defensive 2-drop, but Merfolk Looter is absurd. Join your adept makes, uh, is basically Chromatic Lantern on a creature, but I think we just take Looter. Looter is very, very, very good at limited. Alright, so 2-drops, removal, finishers. Right now we're like, I guess Snapping Drake is our way to win the game. I guess if we draw enough cards... Ooh, Time Stretch! Time stretch, can we finish the game with time stretch? <laughs> oh, this is actually tempting. It's 10 mana, which is a ton, but we have a ton of card draw. Does it even win us the game, though? It just lets us attack a couple times? We might be able to play Hidden Horror. Oh, we have to discard a creature card, not just any card. Alright, I'm taking time stretch. Doing it. I don't know what'll happen, but we're gonna try. Uh, Warp World, who knows. Each player shuffles all permanents he or she owns into his or her library, then reveals that many cards from the top of his or her library. Each player puts all artifact creatures and land cards revealed that way onto the battlefield, then does the same with enchantments, then puts all the other cards that weren't brought onto the battlefield on the bottom of his or her library. Uh, no thank you. We will take Looming Shade. Looming Shade is pretty good. We're gonna have a lot of black mana. Uh, Puppeteer is also pretty good. A tapper or untapper, whichever you prefer. Uh, sea Monster is just not a reliable finisher because our opponent needs to have an island. I guess we can take another Dusk Imp. Civic Wayfinder is probably the best card, and Thundering Giant's pretty good. But we'll take Dusk Imp. The uh, Ravenous Rats is fine. Makes our opponent discard. Can sack it later. Ooh, late Gravedigger. Gravedigger is also very good. Well, I don't know. The question's going to be how do we actually win the game? I guess Massive Ghouls can sort of be a finisher. Our high end is pretty lacking. 
I guess we just need to overwhelm our opponent with a bunch of bad creatures. We did get Highway Robber back. We're going to have to make a bunch of cuts as well. We actually might just be cutting um, Festering Goblin or Warden. Let's take Warden. I'd rather have a better blocker. Uh, Scathe Zombies is not great. We'll take Horseshoe Crab instead. Better on defense. Well, Bloom Black was certainly open. We might not actually be able to play Time Stretch. Does taking two extra turns really do anything for us? It's not like we can combo off. We would like, draw a bunch of cards and attack into our opponent's blockers. Uh, I guess we take... <laughs> draw s Crocodile? Well, I'm mostly just worried about actually finishing off the game. I guess we have, like, our Looming Shade. Maybe we... Uh, we definitely will take Sea Monster. I don't think we start it in the main, but if we run into an island deck, we will definitely play it. Raging Goblin, and last pick. We actually got some work to do in deck building, in cutting this down to reasonable a reasonable amount of cards. Ay ay ay. Um, so I guess we probably just don't have room for time stretch. We still have to cut like eight cards. Dehydration isn't great. I guess we can cut that. Although it is a removal spell for things that some of our other spells don't hit. That puts us down to 30, which means we need to cut 7 more? That's a lot of cutting. Well, we probably got to start with 3 drops, because we have a ton of them. So we have 2 Sifts, we have 2 Rangers. Maybe we just play 1 Council? I guess we can cut the Peak isn't great. Cut a Council. Puppeteer is good, Commando, Hit or Miss, Afflict, Assassinate, Dusk Imp, Looming Shade. Still got to cut five. Let's see, we need Massive Ghouls. We're not going to cut good removal spells. Gravedigger is a bomb, Graveborn Muse is solid, Highway Robber, Highway Robber, Snapping Drake, Card Draw, Card Draw. Creature Wise, Severed Legion, Two Ragers, Husk, Looming Shade. I guess we can cut a Dusk Imp. Assassinate, Afflict, Afflict. We could cut an Afflict. Puppeteer is good. Maybe we get rid of Rootwater Commando. Council, Horseshoe Crab. Terror is good. Rats is good. Looter is good. Go down a Warden. Oh, we still need to cut two more th of something. Probably creatures. We could cut one Afflict if we really needed to. And then one creature. Probably a three drop. Is it just Dusk Imp? Dusk Imp might be the worst. Just having one toughness is pretty annoying. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I guess we try it like that. We'll see. We got lots of card advantage. Got some good removal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, yeah, 12 and 5. Hmm. 11 and 6, I think. Yeah, I think 11 and 6 is fine. All right, let's run it like that. Like that. We'll be back with round 1 of our triple 10th edition rough drafts. Playing blue-black, of course. <laughs>